saw you just the other day. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So another day, more projects. Um, if you guys missed our last video, I mentioned depending on how much is going on, we're going to be doing uh, more than one video a week. So if we do a ton that week and it's two up an hour or more worth of footage, we're just going to make it two and post two videos that week. Figured it's just going to be simpler and easier, plus then you guys get to see more. Um, we're back at the house and today we're working on demo. So this is going bye bye uh, We might knock into these soffits and see what we can do. Part of this wall is coming down, this closet's coming out, closet over there is coming out. And John, our contractor, is completely demoing the bathroom. So, lots of demo work. mind too many times if i say that i still love you babe would you leave all bad things behind the boys had so much fun helping us demo this day daddy was obviously showing them how to use different tools we had to cut this um wrought iron railing out and it was heavy like i knew it would probably be heavy but i did not realize like how heavy this stuff was um and we actually did not throw this away my mom is using it in her garden at her house because it matches the wrought iron they already have or it coordinates nicely i shouldn't say it matches but it blends really nicely so i ended up packing this into the van and taking it over to their house that way they could reuse it but for us it definitely was not going to work but i do know this was the Probably the most exciting day for the boys because we told them they got to destroy things. And then you'll notice we were a little bit more, um, I don't want to say easygoing, but allowing Xander to have a little bit more freedom with these tools. Um, however, he realized real quickly that these tools are like, they can hurt your hands with how much they vibrate and stuff. But then obviously we wanted to let Bjorn do it, but Bjorn is enough younger that obviously Bobby stayed a lot closer and made sure that no one lost a finger or anything um but they really really enjoyed this and then you see little miss freya just in the back watching coco melon on the tablet
So we found out real quickly how well this house was constructed, though, as we were doing demo. Um, even the contractor that was working in the bathroom this day mentioned that this house is like a bomb shelter of construction. So it's not just normal plywood, not plywood, um, what is it called? The uh, drywall on the walls. It's like this thick, like cement, it's not cement board, but something like that. Um, and it was a beast to get down. So between the four of us, we got it down. Uh, the boys, like I said, really enjoyed helping. Um, Bobby and I got in there and all of us together were able to get it down. And I have to say, it has made the biggest difference to not have that wall there when you first walk in. It makes the house feel so much bigger, so much airier. And the light that can go from the front of the house to the back of the house is just so much nicer. So a lot of this footage now is just Bobby and the boys because I had actually had to run to the store, um, get some basic necessities for the house. I had to get Freya some more sundresses because when we had um, moved, like I went through everything that didn't fit her, which was pretty much all of her winter clothes. And I had a couple summer dresses, but since we weren't getting a lot of warm weather yet in Wisconsin, I didn't have a lot. And I figured it didn't make sense to buy any till we got down here. So I definitely had to go and get some more. However, watching this footage back, I can't help but laugh. Some of it is just because it's like, okay, if I was there, I don't know if I would have let that happen. But I wasn't there. It was daddy. Yeah, I just wanted to share some of that. I, like I said, I really enjoyed watching this footage back because just some of it was super cute. And then some of it was that typical, when mom's away, the boys will play <laughs> type situation. Oh, the, you're going to have a couple of clips like that throughout of just things that, I don't know, maybe it was stupid, but my little mom heart found it adorable slash some of it a little bit like nerve wracking. Like, I'm glad I wasn't there as it was happening. <laughs>
I will say one of the biggest things with this day and even watching this footage back is the realization that Xander is going to be 10 this year and like he was so helpful so just like ready to work um you're gonna see in footage coming up of us shop vacuuming some of the carpeting to get some of the big chunks off and I was gonna do it and he's like nope I got this and it's just crazy to think that he is going to be 10. Obviously Bjorn was super helpful as well but he's also six um but seeing my baby <laughs> my oldest baby turning into like such a good young man and helpful and hardworking. They're just all things that, I don't know, really melts a mama's heart. Now, this wall, we aren't completely pulling out because if you watch the home tour, you would have seen that I want to put in built-ins and a fireplace on this wall, but I did want to take it back about halfway just to once again help with the sight lines in the house. That was my biggest thing is opening up the floor plan, giving better sight lines, just making it a better flow throughout the house and removing just even this little bit of this wall made a tremendous difference um the whole house as much of a like construction zone it is still right now the transformation from when we bought it to already is so insane that i'm just absolutely loving it we're obviously have a long way to go but it has been such a fun process already and I love the idea that we are making it ours. We're making memories with the kids that we would never have if we didn't buy this house. We're bonding as a couple making these decisions together. There's just so much more that is coming from making this house a home than just the physical of it but the Changes in our family to be able to do this together has been such a blessing. So we have gotten a ton done out here with getting stuff torn out. The boys were having a blast helping. Actually, they're still vacuuming because they don't want me to do it. They want to do it themselves. However, contractor has gotten a lot done in the bathroom area with demo. So I wanted to show you guys. All right, so... These are still here, obviously. He's gonna be tearing this stuff out tomorrow. But in here, vanity is completely gone. Look at that blue tile. That's like our old, old house in Wisconsin, that blue. But that's all torn out. The shower's torn out. And he even took out the one foot soffit so it's much taller, which is awesome, less cave-like. But if you can only imagine, like this shower is gonna go from here all the way out to that bump out so let's see if I can give you guys a better view there we go yeah we're getting there it's crazy but I think when it's all done this coming out this coming out making that bigger it's gonna look so so good but we are pretty much done for today but we will be back at it back at it tomorrow so hopefully you guys are enjoying I can't believe this is only like a couple days in like it feels like we've been doing this for weeks already and we haven't even been in Florida for a week yet So if you couldn't tell, this is a different day based off of outfit change, um, but we really wanted to get these awkward cabinets out as well. 
they had put them in i know for more storage in the kitchen but the issue was is they were so narrow that you really couldn't fit more than like a can of chicken noodle soup on them and they were making the hallway feel so tight so we wanted to get these out which i will say they were built pretty well they were not easy to remove by any means i was able to get a lot of it but i definitely had to bring bobby in for a good chunk of it a lot of the time it purely had to do with height like it's short girl problems i'm like i can't get this board because i literally can't get the height on it to <laughs> get the actual like leverage i need to take it apart also if you guys are not following us over on instagram definitely go check us out um i always have that linked in my description i should actually add bobby's too because he sometimes shares stuff over there that i don't share um but he's just project bobby on instagram but you get more like in the now type information um, because obviously I film these videos a little bit in advance and especially like right now with us doing so much work I try to be about a week in advance so you're watching this video but I'm already like another week into this project and you're just going to be more up to date on Instagram it's just easier to update over there um, also, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell because that is going to tell you when I post. I'm always posting on Fridays, but whenever I do bonus videos, you're going to want that notification on just so you know exactly when to stay tuned. We have so, so much more to do, and it's definitely already been such an adventure. This is one of the things I was most looking forward to was getting rid of this blue carpeting. One, the house had an odor to it and just getting rid of this carpeting, the odor is gone. We are not going to have any carpeting in this house. It's all going to be luxury plank vinyl throughout it. Um, but this floor we really had to get up because we are going to be leveling this floor with the rest of the house um, so currently it's this sunken family room but we're going to be framing it out that way it is all level the floors will run seamly throughout um, the only floors we're not touching is in the bedrooms the previous owner had updated the floors in the bedrooms um, so we don't see the point in putting in the money in those rooms so we are just doing the main living area with the LVP Unite and we just wanna stay here. It's obvious it's so clear now. I don't wanna enforce so a baby keep it going. I have to say I just love our contractor. It, he saw me working on all these little staple things that they use for the carpeting and he saw me struggling so not only did he show me an easier way to do it but he also let me use his crowbar that way i could get it up quicker which i thought was so nice he's obviously working in our bathrooms but he's answered questions we have as we're going throughout the rest of the house 
it's he's just made this process so nice and simple and he's been super helpful with what he's doing but also like if he sees us doing something and maybe struggling because we're not like we're DIYers we, my husband and I are super handy but we don't do this professionally so to have him here and just so willing to answer questions or seeing me struggling and help me out was really really nice of him and then we moved on to the kitchen now the reason we were trying to bust out as much as possible is we had a dump trailer that john our contractor had brought out to us um, because he was demoing the bathroom so we we're like okay let's get as much done as we can as we have this dump trailer here and we just for two days did literally as much demo as possible this little peninsula we wanted to get out though because we don't know how long the kitchen's gonna take um with ordering delays and supply chain delays we really don't know but our floors we want to get in as soon as possible and the only thing that would hold us up is this peninsula. So we wanted to get it out. We're still keeping the kitchen as functional as possible, but we don't want the kitchen to delay everything else in the house. So we were just going through cutting this out. We're also repurposing a ton, and you're gonna see that um, some of the cabinets got destroyed, but any of the good ones, like we already moved one of the good ones into the laundry room for storage. Some of it's going to go to the garage. That is one way we're saving money. Like we're not worried about going brand new on absolutely everything. We're going to spend the money where we believe the money needs to be spent and save where we can save as much as possible, which is also why we are doing so much of this work on our own because the cost of labor, man, that, that gets up there. So being able to do as much of this as we can as possible is saving us so much money. So we actually even saved some of these nicer pieces of wood as we demoed because Bobby loves building stuff like we're going to build Freya's bed frame. Um, we're just building a lot of things. So anytime there was wood that we could save, we have a stockpile of wood in our garage currently for future projects and just once again, anywhere we can save money, we've been trying to save it. So Bobby is all about saving um, I will say though he has been super excited because he's also been able to buy a bunch of new tools and if your guys' husbands are like mine, that's literally like Christmas.
for today. And I think I'm gonna end the video here because I think there's a lot on here already. But I wanna do a quick walk around and kinda of show you guys where we're at at this point. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep following along with this whole transformation. But there is a ton to show you, including our master bath update, which you haven't been following. As we're doing all this stuff out here, we also have a contractor in our bathroom. So I'm gonna turn you around and let you see. All right, so as you can see in the family room, it's completely opened up. We took that little portion down. We took this down. Currently we have that on the roof just to help protect nothing falling in at the moment till we get drywall guy out here. But all the carpeting's out, all the walls are down, and then turning into the kitchen this entire peninsula. So this is actually just a loose piece that we have sitting there for now, but otherwise this entire peninsula is gone. We did that because the kitchen layout is changing, um, but we want to do the floors. It, to do the floors, we needed at least that peninsula out because we know it's not going to be there. We took this little wonky closet out and that's going to get framed and re-drywalled. We do still need to take out this little wonky closet, um, but we will save that for another day. Oh, another fun thing that happened today that you guys didn't see is our new washer and dryer came, so that's exciting. Um, we are reusing cabinets, either in the laundry room or in the garage, so we're trying to save them if they're in good shape um, so that we can use them in here. But yeah, very excited about that coming. And then out here, we'll go into the master bedroom. All right, as you can see, construction zone in the master bedroom also. But he has this entire area demoed. So currently the plan is the shower is going to come out about eight feet and then the remainder is going to be a linen closet. The toilet is going to get moved to that wall and then the vanity is going to go right here. So he has gotten a ton done in this bathroom and it is looking so, so good, which is one of the big areas we knew we wanted done right away. But yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video. Like I said, as we have content, if we have enough to put up two videos a week, we will. Um, but you'll always have a Friday video, might have Tuesday videos, I don't know. I'm figuring out the days. You guys will see when those bonus <laughs> videos come up. Just know I'm always here on Fridays. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, do all the things if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Go we say we don't Cause I just wanna get down with you, 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 you. The finalist time